All right, everybody, we are back. My next guest comes to us all the way from Dublin, Ireland. Please welcome back to the show the very funny Ed Byrne. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Great to be back again. I just flew in a couple of days ago. Unlike most comedians, I don't actually mind flying. The thing I hate is the stupid questions you get asked before you get on a plane. You know, all those really dumb security questions like, did you pack this bag yourself? As if you're going to say, no, I have people who do that for me. I'm flying coach. How many servants do you think I have? Really? Come on. Questions like, did you, have you left your bag unattended for any length of time? No, if I do that, it will be stolen. What are you, an idiot? I, just, I, just, I, I love it as well when they ask you straight out if you actually have any weapons of any kind. Is there something to ask you straight out? Any guns, ammunition, anything like that? Just to, you know, catch out that really naive first-time terrorist. You know? <laughs> How many times do you think they've had a result with that one? Huh? Like, Sir, any bombs today? Yes. Oh, damn! Oh. Oh, this is harder than I thought. They never said there'd be questions. I got asked a strange one coming here, quite a strange, just a slightly different one I hadn't been asked before, which was, do you have anything in your bag which could be used as a weapon? Yeah, just that level, that level of ambiguity actually makes you think for a while, you know? You find yourself becoming really creative. You, know? you start going, well, if I throw that book hard enough, <laughs> mom says I could have somebody's eye out. I mean, obviously I said, no, I don't have anything that could be used as a weapon, but it did strike me. MacGyver must have a terrible time when he travels. <laughs> <laughs> I He's a creative little so-and-so, isn't he? He'd be like, well, where do I start? I have a bottle of duty-free gin, got some bathroom scales I bought for my wife, got a photograph of my wife. There's a nuclear warhead right there. <laughs> Bathroom scales, yeah, see that little segue, yeah. I don't own a set of bathroom scales, folks. I don't own them. I think they're useless. Pointless things. Won't have them in the house. How many, how many people here have got bathroom scales? Yeah. Why? Why? No one needs to know how much they weigh. Nobody. Honestly. If you're not sure if you're too fat or too thin, you can use a mirror. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and a, and a mirror will tell you all manner of things, like if your wig is on straight, if your suit fits, if your teeth are clean. You know, who's ever looked at themselves in a mirror and gone, oh, I'm a bit fat. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. You know, <laughs> you don't need a second opinion, do you? <laughs> and if you are a bit fat, the last thing you need is something telling you exactly how fat you are. No. <laughs> Pointless. So, I've been traveling around of, of late. I've been all over North America this trip. I went up to Canada which was a nice, interesting place, Canada. I went to Toronto, they've got that CN Tower there. You see, it's the second tallest building in the world, right? And they don't care it's second tallest in the world. It's taller than anything you've got in the US. That's all that counts, as far as I'm Honestly, they go, how big is that Sears Tower? Right, let's build ours just that little bit bigger then, huh? They don't like you guys, did you know that? They really don't. And do you know why? Because you're next to them. That's about it, honestly. I mean, at least in Ireland, we had the good grace to wait for the British to invade before we hated them. They're they're hating you in advance in case you ever try it on, honestly. And you know the kind of sad thing, right? This is kind of sad. I, any Canadians watching, I hate to break it to you, right? But the sad thing, they think you hate them back, right? They don't realize you don't give a damn. Honestly, <laughs> go on through. They think there's like a big rivalry going on, you know? And you're like, who, oh, what? No, sorry, we don't think about them enough to not like them. <laughs> Honestly, they're like the chicken hawk in Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> I'm a chicken hawk! Uh, and the States is like, I say, I say, go away, boy, you bother me. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, go on, then. <laughs> but this building that we got, this CN Tower, I have to say, it is quite impressive, because it is, as I say, the second tallest building in the world. But I think it cheats. I don't like it, because the observation deck is, like, halfway up. And that's as far as you can go. After that, it's just a big spike. It's just a big useless flagpole type spike stuck on top. Look how tall our building is. You cheating bastards, really. Come on, that's like me putting a toothpick in the end of my penis and going, look at the size of that, hey! Right here, baby! Ah! Oh, 
Graham, the tallest comedian ever to appear on network television. <laughs> oh, folks, I think that's about my time. You've been absolutely great. Thanks for listening. I've been Ed Byrne. Cheers. Good night. Hey, Ed. Great as always. Hey, that was nice,